Okay, before we go any farther with learning how to code, I would like to talk a little bit about some nuances around declaring and assign declaring variables and assigning values to and assigning values to a variable. Um, so we, what we have seen so far is this way of creating, declaring that we want a valuable, uh, <laughs> that we want a variable of the type integer, that this variable needs to be called a, for example, and that we want to store an initial value in this variable of like the number 10, for example. However, this expression, which is probably the most popular one, or the most common one, you will be declaring variables like this, probably like 90% of the time that you're working with variables. Even though this is the most common way of declaring variables, I want you to very strongly keep in mind that this is a shortcut for actually two operations that are happening at the same time. Uh, and those operations are two that can be actually broken up in two different pieces. One of them is declaration, right? Declaration is when you actually tell, ask the computer to go to memory, find a memory slot that is empty, and then give it a name. This is what happens when you say, for example, integer b, right? Which I can write as its own statement. If I just write this, this is only declaring that I want this value, this variable to exist and for the computer to reserve some memory uh, somewhere, okay? However, I have not initialized this value. So at this point in the life of the program, this variable doesn't have any value inside of it or maybe it has, if it's a primitive, it has whatever default value that primitive type might be. I'm guessing that, for example, for integer numbers, it's probably the number zero, the value zero. But um, sometimes, depending on the on the computer program that you're that you're working with, it you may not even be sure that that might be the case. Okay. Um, so this is what's called declaring, and then assigning is actually a different step. Assigning is when you say whatever b was before, I want to override that, and I want to give it now the value of 23. All right. This is in what's happening here technically is that I'm taking the value of 23 and I'm asking the computer to store this value inside of that memory space that we have named B. All right. What happens again, these two processes are so common and are so um, linked to each other very often that um, that we usually just shortcut them into one single statement where we declare and we assign an initial value just in one go, all right? However, there will be situations where it will be interesting for us to split this declaration and this assignment, and you will see um, examples of that very soon in some of the videos that I will be recording very soon, all right? Another thing that we need to remind is that declaration is different than assignment and that using the type as a keyword for declaring a variable means that you are declaring that that's going to be a variable that you want in that scope. And you can only do that once for a particular name of a variable. Let me explain what that means. If I go here and I say, let's say I want to assign the value of 23, but let's say that I forgot that I had declared the variable before and I were to write this here. If I were to do that, the compiler is already complaining here. And it's complaining here because it says a local variable name B is already defined. What that means is that by writing here int or integer, what I'm saying is that I want to declare a variable in this same scope with the name B. But because I have already declared a variable before, two variables with the same name cannot leave in the same scope because the computer would get confused, right? So what I need to do is remove this so that now the computer knows that instead of creating a new variable called B again, what I want is to take the B that already exists in this scope and I want to store the number 23 inside of it, all right? Same, imagine I had collapsed this and then I were to write now int B equals 15. It will also give me an error. However, this will not give me an error because what I can do 
is I can say, can I, I'm going to declare the value of B, give it a some value. And then I'm going to change that value sometime later during the life of the program. Let me show you an example of that. Let's say I declare the value of, um, let's say I declare the value of A, and then I console right line that value somewhere on the screen. And then here at the very end, uh, I'm going to um, read the key. Sorry. Oh, lazy fingers today in the afternoon. Read key. So if I, if I run this code, I'm going to get the number 10. All right, here on my screen. Um, the number 10. Okay. Now, if I were to change this value and say this is now going to be the number 50, and then copy and paste this line here, then what you would see now is that my program has two different lines. It has first the value of 10 because when this line executed, when this line executed, the value of A here was 10. When this line here executed, the value of A had changed in the previous line to the value of 50. So the important thing to remember here is that variables can be declared only once with the same name. That's one thing to remember. Second thing to remember is that I can choose to assign an initial value or not, depending whether if I split declaration and assignment in two different parts. And again, we will see examples of why and when that is convenient. Or if I just do it on one go, I can assign initial value at the beginning. The third thing that we need to remember is that I can use a variable any time during the life of my program um, for any reasons. So I can print it to the console, I can add it to other variables, I can do a lot of things. We will see examples of that. Fourth thing to remember, I can change the value of that variable also any time during the life of my program. So, but remember that in, the, in that case, when you want to use a variable to read it, you just have to use the name. Or when you want to change the value, the only thing that you need to do is follow just an assignment, which is assign the value of 50 to uh, the variable A. I can only declare a variable once, but I can assign values to that variable however many times I want in the, during the life of my program. And the last thing to remember is that even though these two lines of code are the exact same lines of code, the result that they have on the console is different because they were executed at different times during the life of the program. And at those times, the value of A had different values because it had changed for whatever reasons, you know, and we will be writing programs where variables values are changing all the time because it's really convenient. It's the basic building tools of a computer program. All right. This that I just said, this is super, super important. And you're going to see me writing a lot of examples of, um, of this particular uh, situation. So important that I actually, on the next video, I would like to explain to you a situation that is not very intuitive at the beginning when we learn computer programming. And it is the fact that the state of the program is extremely important when we work with variables. So let me show you what I mean with that.